What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Captain Cardiac and today I have another video. Today we'll be discussing why I personally think this season we should start Tyrod Taylor over Baker Mayfield. Before we get into this video I apologize. My uploads have been inconsistent lately. I'm gonna try and pump them out much more inconsistency. Just a lot of stuff has come up lately. But let's get into this video. So ever since Mayfield's been picked, he's become quite a popular candidate to start. Out of nowhere, too. I mean, this is expected when you take a quarterback number one overall, and you're a team like us that really hasn't had the best of luck lately. Um, obviously, there's a lot of reasons why both of these guys should start. But first off, why Taylor is going to start... Listen, Hugh Jackson has said this throughout the whole entire offseason. From the moment we've traded Taylor to pretty much now. He said Tyrod Taylor is going to be the starter, and he hasn't really budged from that. I think Taylor, obviously Mayfield's skill, I think he's going to become amazing. But, obviously, right now, Taylor's skilled, and it would help Mayfield to sit behind a guy and, you know, see what you need to do. Obviously, and we did give up a third round pick for Tyron, which is kind of expensive for just a backup quarterback. Ultimately, yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't start Tyron. And I mean, also, just l let me look at ta or talk about a scenario that I think is, goes for this really well. You look at Aaron Rodgers. Coming out of college, Aaron Rodgers was a lot like Mayfield in a sense that he had a lot of raw talent and was more looked like he'd be more of a project guy almost. And I mean, they sat him behind Brett Favre for a little while, and then and now he's likely the greatest quarterback of all time. That I mean, you just look at what development does to a player. Development really helps a player. And I think even if we wait until like week th week five, for instance, I think that would help him an astronomical amount. Another scenario I look at, Deshaun Kaiser last season. Last year we picked Deshaun Kaiser in the second round. And we started him right out the gate. And that turned out horrifically for Kaiser... And for us, uh, I think Mayfield, number one overall, you just have to sit him. I Obviously, you need to let him start down the road, but this would halt him so much to just immediately put him in. And, and the thing about Mayfield is a lot of people are like, this guy, the biggest thing about Mayfield, competitive fire. If you put him out week one against Pittsburgh, he'll be ready to play. You know what's going to make Mayfield play much better? If he's getting beat out by another guy. Oh, God. You need to think about this now. Mayfield, he's not going to like the idea that Tyrod's a starter, and he isn't. He's not going to like that one bit. So you best believe when he earns that starting job, he is going to be ready to play so he can keep that starting job. And because he likely worked his butt off to get it. I think, obviously, there is a chance for Mayfield to start. Um, I mean, if he shows signs in training camp, I'm scared to say he could. But I think Tyrod, I think Tyrod should start. And, I mean, I'm 99% sure he will start. And it would be quite hard to shake my opinion on that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a bit of a shorter video today, but please like or subscribe if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. And comment down below, do you think Tyrod Taylor or Baker Mayfield should start this season? I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Goodbye, guys.